Here we are going on our wild camp. Me and Alex, he's uh, he's just been quite lucky and been, been given the Berghaus vellum jacket to try out for free. <laughs> Got to give it back to the climbing shop tomorrow, which is a result. Now we've got all our waterproofs on. The rain has now stopped. For now, anyway. But here we go. Fingers crossed it's alright. The weather's alright. The weather's alright. Get some decent views, some decent footage. I believe we're going up there first. Hold in the distance there, Weatherland. Now we've been walking now for about. 30 minutes or so. It's the only time I've had to get the uh, the only chance I've had to get the camera out because it's just been it's just lashing down, as you can see. Jacket's doing well. The water's just beading off, which is nice, keeping me nice and dry. Um, like I was saying before, our first first summit is Weatherlam, which is at the minute you can't see the top, but it's up there, so. Hopefully it's dry when we get to the top, but we're in the lake, so that never happens. So, here we go. Here we are at the top of, top of Weatherland. Swirl how, and the weather's just well. You can see for yourself the weather's just. Now at the summit of great cars. How many is that for today? Third, third summit. We've done uh, weather lap, swirl how, great cars. Crap, it's now ten past five. I'm gonna stop looking for someone to pitch in and get some uh, get a tent set up and get some food on So dinner on the go now, nice boiler in the bag. So it doesn't look like we're going to get a sunrise either. So you win some, you lose some. We've been, we've been cursed a what? Yeah, look at it. Cursed by the fog. Cursed by the fog and cursed oh. by the muzz. Yeah, it must have been somewhere around here. He's got to be. He's going to stick his head up his little bold Phil Mitchell. I don't want to pass one of these rocks in a minute. <laughs> Where are they? So 
sod's low, we just got to start moving. And it's just cleared up in the valley where we're walking back down. Right, we're dropping down a track, flowing just past this little reservoir here. Um, and then near, oh, it's gone. A little Langdale Tarn. There is blue skies up there somewhere. Oh, it's gone again. Doesn't seem to matter how many times I come to the Lake District, whether I do stay over while camping and have, a, have an absolute shit night's sleep, you always still come away with good memories. I'm still looking at the landscape now. It's, well, it's just breathtaking. It's, it doesn't get any better than that. You've been sat in the clag all night and then you can come down, finish your, finish your walk off with some scenery any better than that. That's why I love the lake so much. Look how clear that water is there, crystal clear. Like Alex said, if it was warm enough, midsummer's day, you might even go and take a dip, but not that warm. Not where we just came from anyway. 